Republican Congressman Peter King out front. He sits on both the House Homeland Security Committee and the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, obviously, you just heard George Little. The risk the Congress could vote no, uh, you know, he's saying, look, it's just a hypothetical. Do you agree? I mean, or is there a real danger that Congress could vote now? Yeah, I think, uh, first, thanks for having me on, Aaron. Uh, I think the president made a terrible mistake in going to Congress. He has the absolute power to launch this attack if he wants to. If it's that serious, he should have done it. Now, I will vote for it, so I'm not trying to duck a vote here, but I think he's put himself in a position where right now, I think if the vote were today, it would be very difficult to get a majority. I don't know what's going to happen by next week or the week after, but it is going to be difficult. I think the president... Uh, constitutionally would have the right to still go in after he didn't get the vote. I remember with President Clinton in Kosovo, the first one or two votes that come up, uh, they were defeated in the House and he's still attacked. So it can be done, but it weakens our position diplomatically, it weakens the president's stature, and it right. makes him look very vacillating and weak. And, and, and I mean, what should you have said before, you know, and you just said it now, you know, you don't think he needed to ask for the approval, but now he's done it. I mean, let's just say the vote is now. Should he then go against what Congress said and, and still strike? Or should he do what Congress, sa what Congress says, which is not strike? I mean, which makes him look better? Uh, I think he should do it. I think he should go mm -hmm. ahead and strike. And it's, if he does strike, it can't be just one, you know, one day or two days of uh, Tomahawk missiles. There has to be a purpose to this. And to me, the, the purpose should be to uh, really uh, diminish serious capacity to uh, uh, use chemical weapons to carry out war, and not necessarily to knock out Assad, but to weaken their position so they have to enter into negotiations with the rebels. Now, mm -hmm. I am concerned that there is a strong al-Qaeda element within the rebels, but if we can bring about the negotiations, that would give us a much stronger hand at those talks to bring about a government which would not be Assad and also would not be al-Nusra, which is an al-Qaeda affiliate. But to you, it's worth the risk at this point that, 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 that arms help, whatever it might be, may get in the hands of al-Qaeda, sort of what George Little was saying. I mean, because a lot of people point to Afghanistan. Well, we used to aid the Taliban, and look what happened to them, you know? They look at what happened in Libya, or they look at what happened in North Africa. I mean, this happens again and again. Is it a risk we have to right. take? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take it this far. As I said, I, I want negotiations to start, and if we are the ones who bring about the negotiations, that gives us a, a much stronger hand mm. at those talks to diminish the position of Al Nusra and the Al Qaeda affiliates. But I am not confident that we can keep weapons out of their hands. But I believe that by us playing a major role in, in getting the talks going, we will have much more control over the Al Qaeda elements in the rebel forces. And, and now, uh, Congressman King, obviously, you know you're well aware, being your position on Homeland Security, that the, that the United States has already tightened up domestic security measures ahead of this possible strike, right? right? Uh, what I didn't understand is if there's going to be a vote, why wait until next week? I mean, now it looks like, you know, they're going to be talking about it next Monday. I mean, you could have a vote on September 11th, uh, obviously a horrible anniversary for this country. How concerned are you for America's homeland security? Well, uh, you know, again, everything that can be done will be done, but we have to be concerned. And I agree with you. I think the vote, uh, again, if it's that serious that the president wants to launch an attack, then he should have brought Congress back, brought us back into special session over the weekend, yeah. uh, done it last week for that matter. He didn't. So, no, I am obviously we have to be concerned. No need to panic. <clears throat> but, again, if we're talking about Hezbollah, if we're talking about any of those type of affiliates, then we have to be very concerned. All right. Thank you very much, Congressman King. It's always a pleasure, and thank you for joining us on Labor Day. Erin, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Still out front.